Hey guys, Matheus Castelo here and today I have something cool to show to you guys. As you know, we have this cool integration between VS Code and, and WSL, right? I'm here using the Ubuntu on WSL and I can call the code and pass some folder reference or some file reference and this will automatically open a new VS code and this will use a remote connection to WSL, right? Because um, this VS code is running on the Windows side. You can see here that is the VS code that you have installed on the Windows side. But this uh, makes a remote connection to the WSL, right? And you can see here that I have um, all my kernel Linux repository, all the files, the um, folders and everything um, that I have here on my WSL, right? But um, we have this cool integration, but not um, in the SSH remote connection, right? If I try, for example, use here, uh, I have here a container to demonstrate it, right? So I connect to this container through the SSH, right? Uh, I will also open a new connection here on the VS code. We can use the remote explorer. I already have it here connected. So I can direct connect this. You can see this will open through remote connection. I can type the password. Okay, it's connected, right? But if I try to code oh i have here a test bag test folder right inside this folder if i type code dot nothing happens right but i have it uh connected through the remote connection of the VS code right if i try to open the folder here the test folder i have it it's here so i can i need to type my password but it's here we have all the content of the folder, everything here. But we don't have this cool integration between um, the shell and the remote connection of the Visual Studio Code. But you can configure it, right? Um, I have here two uh, commands to configure it. The first one is for uh, setup or export the code command uh, to or path, right? So I have here this export. I'm exporting the path using the path, right? I I, uh, I do not want to lost my old path, right? But I'm adding here the home slash user dot vs code server slash bin something that I will show you guys slash b right why I'm running this uh, script here because maybe you have uh, some update of the Visual Studio Code from the Windows side and then we will have this hash change it so let me show here what we have on this command it's a hash this hash represents the version of the, our VS Code server and this uh, was installed by VS Code when we first uh, make the remote connection, right? So maybe we can have it more uh, versions here through the update. So it's important to use here the uh, alias with the T and R to sort uh, to the newer um, folder, okay? So with this, we will have the code command on our path, right? If I type, where is code? I don't execute the export to path. Let me get it. Okay, now, now I have it. Where is code? Now we have the code on our path, right? Now, if I try to open the folder, I have a complaint here and uh, the code is complaining that the command is only available in WSL 
or inside a Visual Studio Code terminal, right? So why? What my shell here don't have that the WSL shell have and Visual Studio Code terminal have? Well, the code here, if I try to cat this guy, is not a binder, right? It's a script that will run Node.js, right? You will run Node.js and you will run or out VS server CLI.js, right? But this guy here needs a, uh, a reference to the socket, right? When uh, when we remote connect here uh, through VS Code, this opens or this installs uh, a socket inside uh, the remote machine. So the VS Code here can use the socket uh, to use the VS Code on the Windows side as um, a front end um, for this remote machine, right? But the command code here needs this reference. So I have another environment variable here that is the VS Code e IPC hook CLI. This guy, right? So it get uh, the reference for the socket. Right, so I can list here the sockets that we have. You can see that during the execution of the VS code, this opens um, various or other sockets, right? But it's important to use the array key here because we will sort um, the sockets to the newest socket, right? So we can get uh, using the head one the newest socket. So this is the reference that I need to VS Code IPC hook CLI, right? So let's export it. And now if I try run the code dot, cool, right? So I can continue using here um, this shell or this SSH shell as main shell. For example, let's create another directory, other tests. For example, let's go to the older test and open older test. This will open a new instance of VS Code for me. I need to type my password and it's done, right? So let's create a file here. Let's create a hello.c, right? We have the hello.c here too, right? So we need the VS Code server being the version of VS Code slash bin and also uh, the VS Code IPC hook CLI set it uh, to have this cool integration also in a SSH session, right? So it is it that I want to show to you guys. Remember that I'm leaving here on the description of this video a blog post with the content of this video. So if you don't understand something that I speak by my bad English, no problem. You can access uh, the blog post on the description, uh, right? Uh, I'm leaving the link on the description. Also here my other social networks and it's it. Um, thank you and see you on the next video.